Hello everybody and welcome back to Making History 2 on hard, I think. Yeah, this is on yeah, this is level 10 hard. Uh it has been a while. I think this is part 5. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think I last made one of these before I finished Turok 2. So yeah, it's been a while, but I'm back. And I'm back because I just finished losing my fucking shit playing uh, that freaking Army Men RTS game on mission 13. It's not very easy, and my <laughs> my sniper man, my sniper and mortar man strategy completely fell flat on its face. So yeah, I'm gonna have to think up a new way to beat that, but. Uh, for now, I'm playing this because uh, I don't know what else to do today. I was gonna go play some Third Age, but uh, that's not a good game to play when I already got a little pissed off. So, I guess we're playing this. And, uh, well, we left off, we took Iran. Uh, I don't know really what else is going on. It's, what is it? It's, it's only 36, holy shit. What? What? Oh, that's right, we start- okay, yeah, the game starts on 33. Yeah, this version. Well, not version, I've, I've been playing a lot of Hearts- Heart, <laughs> Hearts of Iron 3. I'll probably upload some of that eventually, but that's another game that just pisses me right off. <laughs> Especially when I lose. Well, I mean, it doesn't- I enjoy playing the game, it's just that when I lose, I get mad. And... Uh, rage quit pretty... quickly. But, yeah. So yeah, I, I just couldn't think of anything else to play that was... That was, uh, not gonna make me mad other than this. And hell, this might make me mad if shit goes sideways. But we should be safe since, uh, last video Japan decided to attack China. And China usually ends up kicking their ass because of the... Uh, the AI advantage of having, like, double... Double the industrial capacity they should. So Japan shouldn't last too long. Which would be fine. That's actually better. If China wins, because I'm probably more likely to be friends with China than Japan. Alright, uh, but uh, were we... I think we were... Going... No, we weren't. We are not going to attack Iraq, because that's part of the Allies. Were we going to attack Turkey? Uh, that'll prob no, we already took Iran. That'll probably piss off the Allies if we take Turkey, but I think they're at war with Germany. Nope. Okay, only Denmark and... <laughs> okay, wow. I Yeah, it's been a while. But, we, yeah, we were focusing... on building up mechanized infantry based off that little thing right there. Oh, is that seven mechanized? Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. But yeah, all my experience playing this game has taught me that numbers don't... Uh, we need numbers and quality to beat the AI on hard. So we need to just, uh, yeah. We need to somehow get out so many good, so many top tier troops that they can't do anything. And we have a good amount. I actually don't know how much we have. Probably not too much compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, Romania has more infantry than the Soviet Union. That's always fantastic. But theirs is probably garbage, so... Yeah, they don't have any mechanized. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for a little bit. I don't know if I'll do it for a full 45 minutes or what, just until I get bored. But, uh... I just need to... I need to get something up today, so this is the only thing that I feel like playing right now. After that disaster of uh, Mission 13 for that Army Men game. Which, yeah. Uh, uh, what was I? Yeah. Yeah, Mission 13. I never even touched that. Uh, 12 either. I never touched 12 or 13 in my life. I got to 12 before, a long time ago, but, whatever. 
And it's just more cheating AI, or... It's either cheating AI, or they spawn with just an ungodly amount of troops. So it didn't go well. It... yeah. Just to say, oh my god, talk about cheating AI, look at that bomber fleet. Two bombers, every fucking thing, holy shit. Well, at least I'm not at war with them yet. Man, I need to stop playing games on, like, the hardest goddamn difficulty. It just... Man. Oh, we're still, what was that? Mechanized... Okay, that's good. I think we have the Far East. Okay, these need to be making... United... What the... F okay, whatever. They need to be making mechanized infantry here. The US declared war on Greenland. Why the fuck would you do that? Oh, they okay, they revolted against Denmark. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. That's I really don't care. And the AI can't comprehend landing troops on islands to finish their war they started. Classic AI. Oh, yeah, we're in incredible date. Debt. There we go. Date, debt, whatever. Oh, mounted infantry. I don't really want those. Although it's probably... Yeah, they're only at... What the... Yeah, it's only at 30. That's probably why. There we go. Yeah, turns are taken. The AI is so much bullshit produced that it's... What the... Whoa. Okay. That's a... Weird configuration. Of factories. Yeah, the AI probably has so much bullshit out right now that it's... The game is- all these- the turn processing is just gonna take longer and longer and longer. Unless incredible amount of units are destroyed incredibly quickly, but... The AI is just gonna build them back up as quickly as they get destroyed, probably. Well, we are- we are in, like, crippling debt, but... Our stability is at 80, so we're good right now. Okay, don't want- yeah, we want to get these mechanized infantry- or mounted infantry out of here. Let's see how long this takes. 14 seconds, yeah. Not bad. I mean, sometimes it's been like frickin' 30 seconds or even a minute for some, uh, some turns to process. What am I looking for? Okay. Yeah, same configuration. I was probably in the middle of upgrading all these. Yeah, now, yeah, I, I was... Yeah, I must have been, and then Japan attacked China, and I just didn't get to upgrading them, or... I had something else in mind. And there was another one that just finished mounted infantry. Urga, yeah. Same configure, yeah. Okay. So I had something going on here. Uh, we're completely bleeding manpower. 139 every turn, that's... That's, uh, not enough. Medical Center of Vladivostok. That'll help a little bit. Military Academy. 133.19. Hopefully China just beats the shit out of Japan, that'd be nice to see. Tanks. Oh, oh, okay. Um, we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit before we start upgrading uh, our large factories to industrial plants because of the manpower problem, but we got them out. Yeah, we go, yeah, and then we then we go get medium tank twos, which we have to get um, advanced munitions before that, and then the next tank prototype 
um, research, and then we can go to engineering sciences, and then just speed around the top of the research tree to get to uh, modern tanks too. And just about everything else, infantry weapons. This, this this game is only about infantry and tanks. That's pretty much all you need. What is this? Why are there eight fellows right there? Okay. Um, whatever. Might as well upgrade everything. Might as well. Might as well upgrade as much as we possibly can. Because you just gotta use that manpower eventually. Yeah, we're getting- yeah, that's nice. Pumping out a lot of mechanized infantry, that's... yeah. And that's- that's the level 4, right? Yeah, that's level 4. Uh, how much is it gonna take to produce level 6? Army... Uh, mechanized infantry, mechanized 6. IPUs... 325. Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's gonna take 50 more. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, by then, hope. Hopefully by then we'll have upgraded to industrial plants and it'll be roughly the same amount of time to get mechanized infantry five, six out as it is right now for four. Okay, heavy cruisers. Oh yeah, that's that's another thing we need to do. Heavy cruisers and just uh, ships, ships in general as much as possible because uh, we're gonna need to land on the AI eventually like the United States, Japan, the UK, shit like that. And we do have a good force, but... And that, that's one thing I do like about uh, Hearts of Iron 3, or I guess Hearts of Iron in general, is that you can't get, a, you can't get away with gigantic death stacks in that game. There's no such thing as a stack. Because your supplies will just fuck you. Where, where in this game, you can literally put your entire army into one region and just bulldoze through. So that's... That's one thing that, uh... Parts of Iron does better. I mean, if, 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 if this was like a... You know, medieval type game, that makes sense to have just one giant battle determine the entire war. But this game, it's like, that's not how all this shit is supposed to work. And you, there's not really any strategy to it. It's like, because if you encircle it, it can just one by one destroy all your, all your other units. Even if the supplies are cut off and even if all that happens. So, unfortunately, you just gotta play like the AI and... Basically have light defenses across the entire border put your entire army into one little area and then just bulldoze things Which does take the uh, it takes the thought out of most of the thought out of combat and war And literally makes it a numbers game it makes it a hit point and you just need to make sure that you're your attack value is higher than their defense, or your defense is higher than their attack, and that you have a lot of hit points, and then you'll win. Which is nice, you know, it's a reliable way to know whether or not you're gonna win, but it's just... Now, I, re I really wish they had a unit limit for each, like, province or a supply limit, something like that. Something so you actually had to spread your units out, and so that you actually had to, you know, Okay, there we go. And yeah, allies are in the war and the United States. Yep, that's fine. They're less likely to attack me then until 41 when Germany is scripted to attack me. But I mean, if I attack anything, they're probably gonna just go crying to the allies like a little bitch, so. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not even in a position to go attack anything right now. I need to. I just need to endlessly produce mechanized infantry, tanks, anything 
big and strong that's going to be able to take a hit. What is this? The fuck? Iraq? Uh, to eject... To attack Japan, you don't really need... Well... You could load onto ships and go... Go to the UK and then go through China. Are they in the Allies? No, they're not. China never joins the Allies, or they rarely do. I mean, China doesn't really like anyone. They're kind of like uh, me, the USSR. They just kind of do their own thing. Which is fine. I've, in all the times I've played this game, I've never had a war with China unless I declared it. There we go, advanced munitions. That's done pretty quick. Yeah, there's our tank prototype 4, and then we can get medium tank 2s, and that's really the only thing that matters with that tech. Any day now, game. Any day now. Any day now. There we go. Oh, wow, a 24 second turn. Jesus. Or I guess a 24 second processing turn, whatever it's called. Process time? Fuck it. I don't know. Oh wow, look at that. We actually got manpower. Who would have seen that coming? Uh, Alright, let's get our first industrial plants out. In Kiev. Should need, what was that, like four? Yeah. And we got a good amount of technology. We got a good amount of research ship. Although we should probably still focus on it a little bit. Um, Tashkent. Uh, let's get a research facility. What is that? Uh, Omsk. We seem to be doing pretty good on arms overall. 240? Okay, well, uh, you could use a little bit more than that, but whatever. Uh, okay, upgrade Orenburg. Get them up to large factories, and I guess we'll put them on arms since they already have a munitions plant. And they're just kind of, you know, out of the way. Orenburg, I think, is uh, right about here. Yeah, Orenburg is right here, kind of way out of the way of everything. So might as well put them on something that they can just, that's not too important. Oh, wow, look at that, into 37. Well, I mean, we've already been there for a little bit. And we're 215 frickin' turns into the game, Jesus Christ. Sedamo. Oh, okay. Kaffa. Kaffa. Yeah. Wait for the turn. Yeah, you can see the AI doing its shit. Italy declared war on Greece. Yeah, now the Axis is just going all in. Everything looks good. <laughs> I got these things on appliances trying to get myself out of debt. I guess we could... Uh, try a little harder. What is this? Is this three? Yeah, it's three mechani or cottage factories in those 15 cities. Venezia. Venezia. Whatever. I ah, might as well get some of those upgraded. Oh, yep. That's a sound of an engine. Not as loud as some other dickheads. That was actually a, nor a normal person. Or so it sounded. I would worry about food, but... Yeah, look at that. We're 1,000 behind. It's it, There's no point in trying. Like, the... The... Mo the... Ugh. 
the manpower is better used for factories and um, military. It has to be. I can't fucking waste time building th that shit. Did I... Okay, it's frozen. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, do I even have the technology? Because building, yeah, building those collective farms is too much manpower. It's like 45 guys for each frickin' farm. Just too much. Whoa, we are kind of up there with the consumption of that shit. Ah, let's just... <laughs> fucking spam. Spam metals mines. As much as possible. I mean, I don't even know... I don't even know if I'm gonna win this. To be honest, because every time I've done like a very hard game like this, level 10 hard... It's like... If it's... If somebody attacks me, which they always do... 1942 is always the year someone attacks me. If I can deter the attack in 1941 by building up enough troops, it's either the UK or Germany attacks me in 1942. Like, every time, so... I mean... I'll probably try and fight a little more than if I was just playing on my own and if I wasn't recording, but... Even still, on level 10 against the British Empire, there's not much you can do if they throw a big fucking stack in, at you. And yeah, I'll probably have a giant stack at that point, but... It'll probably, probably will be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Which is just usually what happens with this game. But we got, we got a decent force on the border, but... Yeah. We'll just have to watch the border, because when they start to, like, uh... Build up gigantic numbers of troops, like, all in the back here... Then I'll just... Then you'll know that they're about to. 28... What is that? 28... Yeah, 28 militia right there. That'll be crushed pretty quickly by just about anything. What do we got here? Three mechanized infantry. Eh, that's not really... Enough, but... Oh, another one right there. Okay. I'd like to just dunk on Romania... Because they have a lot of infantry, but... The, the the alliances usually don't happen too much in this game. The way they're supposed to. Like Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria... They it just... It's usually just Germany trying to solo the entire world. <laughs> Maybe with Italy, which I think is go what's going on right now. But they are at war with the entire allies in 1937. But this time, I don't think they did it too early. And they do have Japan and Italy with them. But the allies just have so much stuff that it's kind of weird. The game isn't balanced too well. The allies... Well, I mean, fucking reality isn't balanced too well either, but... The allies usually just stomp Germany out or Japan... And then it's just kind of over. Number one, because I think the AI doesn't really know how to defend itself as, like, Japan. Like, they don't, they don't know to keep a lot of troops on the mainland. So they just throw everything into China. And then they get dragged into a war. And then they take the production centers and then they're not able to sustain this over here. And then everything dies. So, that's how that goes. And also the... The UK just shits out infantry and anything just so quickly that there's not much to be done. And, I mean, if you can knock out their giant stack, they'll probably have another one, but that also might mean that it's game over for them. But yeah, this... they. they, they they, huh. Wow. Sometimes I just 
cannot talk. They like to have tiny groups of five infantry. Four, three, with a group with an artillery in there somewhere. They love that little shit. And then, then they have bigger armies like that. Well, yeah, man, China is powerful. Again, it's just about the number of cities you have, not the, uh... I guess, not the, uh... Whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Holy fuck, yeah, there it is. Four, five, sixty-five. Right on the French border of all fucking places. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a moderately sized army. Five, six, okay, why am I doing this? We're not here to look at that shit. We're here to... I don't, I don't know. This is how I usually play the game. I usually don't do... I don't go too crazy because I know I can't win in a head-on fight, at least not yet. Although that is a nice looking army though, 222, 46. Yeah, you're, you're doing, oh nice, we got uh, that out. When you got more attack than defense, you know you got a pretty good army. All right, and now we gotta wait for the turn to process again. Come on, please. There we go. 12, 25 second turn. Jesus Christ. Um, advanced aerodynamics. I think that's important, but right now we just need to speed run to... Uh, infantry equipment 6. Five, infantry equipment 5, 6. And then all the other tank prototypes. Tanks and infantry. Tanks and infantry. That's all that matters. And then we can focus on bombers and jets and shit like that. Seven tanks there, four infantry, three, go oh, four, four. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're getting out enough mechanized infantry. Because the, uh, the mounted infantry is pretty good, it's got good hit points, but it's not, it just isn't as tough as the mechanized. But they don't seem to have out much mechanized either. That's primarily a German thing is the mechanized infantry spam. I figured that out the hard way, like, so many frickin' times. Munitions plant in Vladivostok, wow. That should have been there. Oh, okay, we're freed up there, uh... Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're gonna get cruisers. when this turn decides to process. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna, well, I'll just go over there. It's gonna make me go over there anyway when I select it. Uh, how long is it gonna take to get out heavy cruiser? Seven turns of cruiser? Whatever. We gotta do it. Oh, Jesus, there's, yeah, we didn't even build anything there yet. Holy shit. But yeah, that's our only port in the entire Far East, in the entire Pacific Ocean, so we have to, yeah. And you know, we're not, we're not invading Japan imminently, but might as well start now while, while we still have the fucking city. More factories. Madug? Madug? Yep. Kicking, kicking the shit out of the Italians. Holy fuck. Look at that. Look at the, just the amount of infantry. Now let's check the world. 700 infantry. My god. Oh, still up being outperformed by Romania. Although not, yeah, their troops, they have more troops than me, but they're utter garbage. 
Like, look at that. 3,000 attack to my 8,000. 6,000 defense to my 10,000. And that's probably because I have 41 tanks. Which I could use a bit more tanks than that. And artillery, uh, it's... It's okay, I guess. It's not the... It's not... I don't know, it doesn't hit as hard. It doesn't hit as hard as tanks and doesn't have the hit points of tanks either, so... And they're, they're not like the uh, the other Making History 2, the, the Second World War, where it's... There's actually an artillery mechanic. But that mechanic is kind of weird, too. It's like you can... It, it, like, treats the guns as just guns. And you can actually capture them if you move in and they don't have any infantry there to support or any ground units, but... Tanks and airplanes are treated like infantry, where it's just... They can die, pretty much. Whereas artillery is actually able to be captured and recaptured and... It's a... It's a... I think it's a good mechanic, it just... Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, considering planes and stuff like that, and ships. I don't think you can, like, capture ships or stuff, so... It's like, just artillery can be captured. And that game, it's like the same exact stuff with the, with the death stacks. Where it's just... One gigantic battle between the two sides and then it's over. Or I guess it's just a steamroll until the other side gives up or is completely conquered, so... Yeah... I don't know when that one was released though, the Second World War. This one was released in like 2010, I think. So yeah, fucking 12 years old at this point. Jesus Christ. Organized in Moscow, Irkutsk. Yeah, five mechanized infantry, four is 100 hit points, 275 defense, and 135 attack. The only problem is fuel. Oh man, yeah, and the... The blitzing mechanic in this game. Oh man. Holy shit, that's fucking annoying. When the AI just sends like one unit of mechanized infantry and just like takes five fucking regions of your country. Wow, that's annoying. Oh man. <laughs> that's definitely some of the uh, most annoying shit I've seen in the game. Motorized infantry isn't as, isn't as bad, but it can still do the same shit, and tanks can do it too. Oh man, I remember that. In several other games, there's like a fucking, I don't know, a German... One time there was like German stuff up here, and they literally blitzed all the way down to fucking Leningrad and took it in one turn, because I, I just like, surely they can't go half a f Like, I don't know how long, how big that is, but... Surely they can't go that far in one turn, and then they took it. I got fucking mad. I probably quit and came back, but... Yeah. That's just the way it is, though. Which is why I'm building a ton of mechanized infantry as well. So hopefully I can just... Focus all those cities. And so they can't keep producing bullshit, and then slowly... Knock out their, uh stuff their army so they can't reinforce it and we're actually doing okay with manpower 608 car cop oh that's done now wait for the turn to process for the 227th time there we go uh erga well, that's right, we just, like, went wild with upgrading shit. Okay. And we can go wild again. We seem to be... Overall, doing very well... In terms of... Arms and infantry and... Industry, all that stuff. I guess I knew what I was doing. Whenever I last played this, at least a little bit. 
Um, what the f- yeah, there we go. I don't think I've played this game at all since that last video, since part four. I, I, oh, I just kind of lost the desire to play it, I guess. I don't know. And I also had, like, fucking, I had, like, Turok 2 Hardcore to finish. I had Sudden Strike to finish. Ghost Recon, Island Thunder. Uh, Jedi Knight 2. So yeah, that's another reason I, I haven't done this in a long-ass time, because I had, like, five games to do. And I- oh, man. I mean, if this is gonna be 45 minutes, it's gonna take, like, a bitch to fucking upload to YouTube, because I recently cranked the bitrate up to, like, 8,000 or something. I don't know. It was the highest bitrate it gave me. I don't know much about this shit. <laughs> that's... All I know is that raising the bitrate made uploading to YouTube so much longer. The export isn't as long, though. It is. It's exactly as long as the other bitrate, so it doesn't make it longer, which is fine. And we are actually doing very well with manpower. I'm surprised that we're actually, like, not crippled here. Based off all the shit I've been doing. But uh, let's go ahead and cripple myself right now by queuing up a whole bunch of shit I can't possibly get done. And also put myself into crippling debt. Even more than we were. Oh wait, oh wait, am I actually putting myself into crippling debt here? Cause I think the arms, oh shit. Uh, okay, let's uh, sell, oh yeah, that's right. The world's at fucking war. Which means, arms are in high demand. Hopefully this number goes up, or I guess down. Hopefully it gets closer to zero. Okay, that's another way of saying it goes down. Fuck me. And it did, okay, wow. Holy shit, yeah, we're cranking shit out now. Kiev, oh, Kiev got the fucking, uh, what's it called? Industrial plants done, and now we're at 80. That should be able to crank out just about anything pretty quick. I would hope. But, uh, we need a vehicle plant there, because vehicles win the game. Engineering sciences. How far off are we from our next infantry thing? Because I would like to upgrade, but that takes like so many art. Oh my god, we're not even. Wow. We still got a ways to go. Um, okay, we're one technology away from starting infantry five. Uh, national laboratories, physics, uh, industrial complex, then six. Astrophysics, uh, programmable computers gets us tank prototype six. Where's, uh, five? Okay, that's under advanced physics. And then everything after programmable computers doesn't matter. Staged rockets is kind of important because we can, we can build ICBMs and literally nuke cities back down to like five IPUs, which would actually be insanely helpful for hard mode. Because the AI just, it, it just has too much stuff, so we need to really knock them down, but by the time I get those things, they'll probably have them as well, so if they do that to my cities, that's not good. Although I've never been nuked in this game before, but then again, I've never actually completed, like, well, I have completed games of this before, but I've never actually completely won with world domination before, which I doubt I'm going to do it in this either. I don't really plan to do that. It's just gonna be so fucking tedious. Especially in the latest stuff where there's like one enemy. I guess my goal is really just to knock out the Axis and the Allies. And that might not even happen either. I'm just playing this just to play it. A chill playthrough is what I called it. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly... 
chilled out right now, but that's because I have to get something uploaded today. And I got extremely pissed off at that at a fucking children's game. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, Army Men RTS. I don't know if I wanna fucking finish that now. Holy shit, that's gonna be annoying to finish. Here we go, engineering sciences. Uh then next is uh Digital computers? I don't remember. It's been a little bit. Yep, digital computers. Alright, get that done. Or well, started, not done. 11 turns for that, not bad. Yeah, nice. We can actually we can actually focus on upgrading our money cities because our arms are selling so well because of the fucking world war going on. Yeah, we'll keep the we'll make sure the war continues to make itself weaker by destroying itself while we provide the weapons, I guess. I guess that's what's going. What the? F what the fuck is that? Is that a China? Oh, that oh, the Australians. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of invading the Japanese mainland, they're invading Korea, and not even like near the Chinese. They're just invading. Well, I mean that China isn't even at Korea, so they're they, whatever. They're just randomly invading some Japanese thing. It's kind of like what the AI does when they... America! Whenever I go to war with the United States, they fucking land up in Siberia every single time. And it's just like... Yes, I don't have any troops defending it. But it just... It's, it's just so damn annoying. It's like... Vladivostok and these little three cities right here should be your highest priority if you're attacking the Soviet Union. In, in the east. Because the next two cities, or three I guess, if they took Annex Mongolia. Uh, and Tano too, but the next four cities are all like way the fuck over here. So, you know, landing up here is just the most AI thing to do possible. So it's like, wow, that's incredible. And they also get stuck up there, because I never build roads up there, and the terrain is just garbage anyway, so they can't move fast, so... They're stuck up there for like 20 frickin' turns, and then I, I have to go get stuck up there to get them out. Oh yeah. Starting to crank out those cities. Uh, I mean factories. And why is... I want, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, Romania. What is Romania doing? Arms. Infantry, infant. Oh my god, they're only on infantry too. Yeah, dude, I could probably crush these guys. The only problem is they might join the Axis or the Allies, and if they do that, it's. kinda game over. 57. 60 fucking four. Wow. They have like 209 infantry, I think it said. Another 67. And I have six. <laughs> six. Two. Um. Nine. Oh shit. We got. We, yeah, we got a uh, medium tank. Not, yeah, medium tank twos. That need to be made now. Okay, Stalingrad is making... Where's Stalingrad? Oh, there it is. Are they my only tank city? Oh, Orenburg. Um, get them on arms. 
and I guess money. Because that's what arms give us. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's been 45 minutes. And yeah, I guess that's just... Yeah, not much happened again. China and Japan are trying to kill each other, but the AI is just derping out hardcore. Yeah, there's just so much shit going on. Well, not, not going on, but they got so much, so many tiny armies and stuff all over the place. And China, China's like completely half-assing it. Like, let's be honest, if China decided to just move all this shit up here, they would like wipe Manchukuo and Korea off the map. Or Japanese Korea. And then I wouldn't have to keep much over here. But actually, yeah, I would, because Japan would just do that bullshit. But then I could maybe get China in an alliance. Which would be nice. Yeah, look at that. Look at all these fucking tanks. They're garbage, but they have so many that it's just... And look at those bombers! Holy moly! God damn, it's like, holy fuck. But yeah, that is gonna do it for part five. It's been a while since I did this. It might be a while till the next one, I don't know. I just have a lot of other games I want to get done, and this is just a... Something I really don't have to try too hard at. And that doesn't really piss me off yet. I mean, when it gets to war, it pisses me off. This game has really pissed me off before. And, okay, that was a bus. Right, I'm not gonna rant about that. Um, but yeah, with that mechanized infantry shit, that stuff. When that starts to happen, I get mad. But it's not happening now, so there's nothing to really get mad at. So, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will probably... I uh, don't... Uh, I might be back with Army Men RTS, the 13th mission on that, but... Oh my god, that was not fun to play. That was not fun at all. And it's, it's not gonna look like it's gonna be any much... It's not... Oh my god, it's not looking like it's gonna be fun at all, no matter how much I do. So, yeah, I'll be back with whatever. So, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.